Hey guys, it's Darren here from Off Grid Outfitters. Just thought I'd take the opportunity. We've got a brand new Recon R4 Tandem sitting here, ready to be delivered to a customer today. Uh, a lot of you probably haven't seen, haven't seen a video on these, so we do have our other single axle one we've put up. So I just thought I'd run through some of the differences in the R4 Tandem. So we'll do a bit of a walk around. You'll notice the twin, the dual axle there. This particular one's fitted with the method uh, five stud pattern uh, to suit a 79 series. Around the back, we've got the optional wheel carrier there fitted. We've also got the upgraded air suspension on this model. So we'll, when we get around, we'll show you that. Uh, the standard, air, uh, standard suspension is the ATX Cruise Master and it's the coil spring. You'll also notice the extended drawbar is fitted on this one as an optional. So that'll give you an extra 300 mils extension on the drawbar. That also allows to fit uh, bike carriers on the front so you can fit a, a four bike carrier on the front of that. Just noting as well, the tear weight of this one uh, has come in at 2340 kilograms and it can go up to an ATM of three and a half tonne. So there's still some good payload in this one. Uh, this one does have quite a few options as well. It's got the two bunks inside. It's got the lithium uh, battery upgrade with the Cymarine. So that involves the, the extra uh, upgraded solar panels, uh, two by 360 watt. Uh, I'll get Jaden to jump up there and show you in a minute. And also the Webasto air conditioning unit you'll notice on the top there. So that's the roof mounted one. So coming around, we'll see if we can come under here and show you the air suspension. While he's under there, I'll just turn that on and we'll just raise that for you. So you can see the air suspension up and down. There's about 140 mils of travel overall on the air suspension. So that's all the way up. If we just come around to the front here now, or the side, you'll see there's a ride height indicator under there so that gives you an idea of the if you line that up with the top of the tire that'll give your 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 road travel so you'll see you line that up with the top of that and then we we can lift that up and down from there just to vary so that that also helps with leveling uh, there is the the cruise master board over the top here. It's got your two toggle switches and the, and the uh, PSI gauge there as well. But really easy to level. Uh, if you're at a campsite, you want to level up. Uh, very simple to do. And for getting the sort of ride height on your vehicle too, which is important. So that's the ATX with the air suspension upgrade. There is four uh, rolling airbags on that one due to the tandem. Uh, the only other real differences, if we come around to the side, is the battery box. If we open up in here. Under here we've got our three water tanks, 3 by 90 litre. There is room for a fourth uh, tank, you'll notice in there. But due to the tandem axle, you'll see the, the wheel arch here. So it does inhibit on some of the normal uh, battery storage space. We still have room for a, a full um, lithium battery, which is that one's a 200 amp hour. And that's the upgraded Invicta battery. 
All right, well, yeah, that's some of the features um, and options on this particular R4 Tandem, uh, which is a really popular model. Uh, if you have any other questions, certainly happy to help out. Um, give us a call or uh, hit us up on the, on the YouTube channel there. Thank you.